Hello and welcome. It has been a while I haven't recorded any video, so today I'm going to introduce a new course. It is going to be for developer. Also, I'm going to introduce a giveaway for the developers who can complete the course, as well as they are going to complete an assessment. So before I introduce the new course, I'm going to talk about some of the mistakes I made in my programming career. There is nothing wrong with making mistakes, but these are the things that stop me from going forward in my career. I'm not saying you should not commit any mistake or you should avoid making the mistakes. The thing is, some of the mistakes stop us from achieving our dream and those mistakes should be avoided. Like if you're trying something, you always make mistakes and that is totally fine, but some mistakes stop you. First thing, when you're a beginner programmer, you always wait for the perfect time to start building your website, start building your app, start creating something you always wanted to do. But you never do it and you just always wait until you become perfect. I asked a lot of my friends what are you doing, they are saying just I'm watching this tutorial, I'm watching that tutorial, they are start completing that and they're like I'm going to start working on your project. The wrong thing about watching every tutorial is they are going to build you a to-do app and the to-do app is nothing to do with a real world application and that is the, the common mistake everyone is doing. You watch the tutorial, you complete it, you build the to-do apps that they have built and if you stop there and you do not make your own application and if you do not put your hand on the keyboard and create something brand new, you learn nothing. Experience comes from doing some practical thing and it is totally wrong if you do it all from following the tutorials. If you put your hand on the keyboard and build the ugliest website in the first few weeks, that's fine. You will come a day, you will build the most beautiful website if you just try it in real world applications. Next up, dreaming too big. There is nothing wrong with dreaming too big. You know, like you can dream big, but sometimes dreaming too big can stop us from doing the small things. If you think about the person who made make the game of Angry Bird, or the or Mark Zuckerberg who made Facebook, or Elon Musk who made the SpaceX and Tesla, these are not the first thing they have made. They have made a hundred and thousand other things that didn't work. Tony Robbins is a very good sentence. People are rewarded in public because they have been working so hard in private. And that is true. Most of us believe like the person who made the game of Angry Bird, they, that, might, that might be their first game. But that is not true. They have built 15 or 20 other games which failed and no one installed them. Then they have built a successful game. Every practical project you, you make will make you one step closer to the big project that you have always wanted to make. It is not going to be easy, it is not going to work fast, but I'm sure if you work consistently on something, finally you will make something big. If you are good enough at something, no one can stop you. That's it. One more thing is stop listening to people. I know a lot of people who tell you do not pick this programming languages, do not go that way, do not go that way. Find your passion and start working on that. Follow your dream, do not follow what other people are saying. I did it myself. I was listening to people for a, a few years, like they are saying ASP is not good, PHP is good, PHP is not good, Python is good, Python is not good, Ruby is good. That is the ultimate time start. Any of these programming languages is going to be good if you work on them consistently. That is the most important point. Yes, listen to guidance, but do not wait. In your programming journey, there is a part where everything gives hard. That is the hard part of programming. It is like climbing a mountain, where at some point you see a very high hill and you see it is so difficult. If you could pass that stage, you will become a real programmer. Most of us stop there or we jump to another programming language. Later we find that programming, programming language has the same difficulties. It has the same problem that you see now. And that is where things get changed. So that is all the things you have to know. Like I'm not going to talk a lot about the things which are not important, like this mistake, you should avoid this mistake. You cannot avoid mistake. It is good. If you're trying, you are obviously making a mistake and that is the sign of progress. But the thing that if you are not trying something, those are the mistakes you are doing. Don't be afraid to make a mistake and fail. Try different things and dream big. And there is nothing wrong with dreaming big. The only thing which is wrong about dreaming big is having no plan. If you have no plan, dreaming big does not do anything. So to recap, I am going to summarize everything. 
Stop waiting for the perfect time. The perfect time will never come. Stop jumping from one tutorial to other tutorial. They are making the same to do app and you are wasting your time on them. Even if my tutorial is not going to have any impact on your career, if it is not going to level you up, do not watch them. I am just telling you directly. And stop playing around. I have seen a lot of people when I ask them what you are up to, they are saying I am playing around with this, I am playing around with that. Stop doing it. Just build a practical thing. And it is good to dream big, but if you have no plan for your future, dreaming big does not do anything. And that's it for this video. I hope it has been informative. And I will see you in the next video where I am introducing the course, which is going to be completely free and it has a giveaway also with that um, if you complete the course.